Okay, hi guys, this is Ultimate e, &E Fan. Uh, this is going to be my first ever NASCAR diecast review on cars that I have. Um, I got these new cars today and I thought you might, guys might like to see them. Uh, this is a limited edition, uh, 2000, 2000 Jeff Burton number 9 Northern Light Ford Taurus. It was driven in the Bush series. As you can see, it, the top comes off the top of the car comes off. I find this thing the best investment you'll ever make actually. I bought this at my local play my local uh race shop, Gearheads, which is located right next to O'Reilly Raceway Park in Indianapolis. Uh if you guys want a great uh diecast car, I recommend going there. They have the best stuff ever. They have a whole they have bins of these for like a buck, two bucks, three bucks. You can pay awesome money. Um they it's just awesome. This is another one, nineteen ninety eight Ward Burton MBNA twenty two Pontiac. I actually believe that it's just a sleek machine. I mean, it's all it's just beautiful. I mean you can see that's twenty two Ward Burton's signature. What's better than that? Another cool one I thought you guys like like to see was my is this two thousand nine Jeff Burton Caterpillar car. Uh, this is very awesome. I got this at Gearheads as well. Uh, I think that it's just all around awesome. And if you guys want an awesome car like this, you should get it. Um, another one is a 2001 Jason Keller number 57 Albertsons Ford Taurus. Now this is a this is a really good one because it has the, it, it's uh, it's got the Ford. It's got the Bush Series logos and everything, and it's just like completely official so it's a nice one and another one that I'd like to show you guys is uh, a number 11 Brett Bodine um, Lowe's 1995 Ford Thunderbird this is just an all-around great car if you guys want an awesome car I suggest getting this baby because it's authentic Lowe's logos and everything it's just all-around awesome uh, how about this uh, 1996 Bill Elliott McDonald's Ford uh, uh, Thunderbird? Bird. Now here's an awesome car. Uh, I got this because I always liked the uh, McDonald, the 96 McDonald's car, so I thought that would be cool. Uh, another cool one: David Green's number 96 Caterpillar Chevrolet. I've already showed you guys a cat car, but here's another one. I think this is probably the best thing I've ever dang gotten. <laughs> So, I mean, if I wanted to, I have Burton and Green's cat car, so I got a whole 98 car set. Haha, <laughs> almost. Uh, here's another one. 1997 uh, Jeff Burton Preview Edition. This is a preview. This isn't actually the actual thing that he drove in 1997. Uh, this is just a preview that came out, like, probably January 97 for this thing. Uh, so, it's pretty actually neat. It's very rare, because I don't even think this was the actual one he drove. From, just off the top of my head, I think this was probably his two th 1996 car, I'm pretty sure. So, that's a cool one. And, uh, here's Lake Speed's number 83 Purex. Ford Thunderbird from 1992. This car is like really, really nice. I think couldn't couldn't be any better than this. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab a couple more if you guys want to see a few more diecast reviews. Okay, so I'm back and here are a few more cars that I'd like to show you today. This is my guy Joey Logano, 2009 uh, Toyota Camry. It's beautiful, simply beautiful. I can't describe the quality of this. Action really did a good job making this. The only thing I might add is there's no rookie stripe. Uh, I really don't know why, but other than that, it's really uh, authentic and nice. And here's a 2009 Tony Stewart car. Now, the rest here I did not get at Gearheads. I actually got other places, uh, unless noted. noted. <laughs> now, um... This is uh, just a very nice car. It's nice and silver. It's got the silver glossy finish. It's really nice here. Uh, it's got the Old Spice logos and everything. Uh, even the wings have the little Old Spice um, thing. So, yeah, this is a very nice car. And here's my favorite, Kyle Busch. Yeah, go Kyle. Woo! Woo! 
Woo! Oh no! Yeah, you know this. The whole. Oh, he turned him. Oh, well, yeah. You know this. This is a load of crap right here, saying that these two are. You know, I take both these sides, but my favorite driver is Kyle Busch. Oh, my favorite driver is Kyle Busch. So, I like Junior, but I like Kyle Busch too. But either way, these are very nice cars. These are 2008s. Uh, 2008s are very nice, beautiful cars. Uh, I got these both. This I this I got at the Indianapolis 500, and this I got in a Daytona 500 uh, tin set. Now, once again, I'm not taking either sides of this. Pick who you want. I don't care. But if you're a driver picker and you hate this guy or you hate this guy, screw you. Um. Another one, this very cool 1995 Ron Hornaday unsponsored number 16 Ford, I mean, sh I'm, excuse me, Chevy Silverado. It's a little broken, but I got it at Gearheads, and it's beautiful. Like, I got this, like, three years ago, maybe. But it's very beautiful, and I love it. 2001, Jimmy Johnson, Lowe's Power of Pride car. Now, this is a cool car. The only thing, like I said... No rookie stripe. What the heck? I'm confused too. Anyway, this is an awesome car. Buy it. 2000. Um, I believe that this might be Rick Mast's 2000 number 14 Conseco Pontiac. Now this is a good car. It's really sleek and glossy and everything. And just love it. Uh, 2007 Robbie Gordon Maypie uh, car. It's really good. Get it, buy it, love it. Dale Earnhardt. I got this at Target probably. And this is real nice. Dale Earnhardt Jr., 1998 Bush Series rookie car. No rookie stripe. I would like to ex know why half of these cars don't have rookie stripes. Maybe because they're not, they're not authentic enough. 2007 Kevin Harvick Car of Tomorrow 29 Chevy Impala SS. I got this at probably Target last year. And now for my final one I'm going to be reviewing today. Number 16, 1997 Ted Musgrave Ford Thunderbird. This is a very nice car. I recommend it to anyone who likes the ABC family now or had Prime Star in the past. So yeah. Thanks for Thanks for watching uh, Rob's this review, and I hope that you go out and buy these cars. And re remember, gearheads, just look for O'Reilly Raceway Park, and you'll find it. Thank you, and have a nice day.